In this week's quick tip video, let's focus on two tools that are in our Express Tools ribbon. Uh, often forgotten and overlooked ribbon that's got some pretty nifty little stuff in it. The first one we'll go over is uh, rotating some text or in along an object, something we have to do pretty often in our worlds. I mean, if I wanted to label this pipe here, I put 24 inch RC, whoops, RCP. I mean, and I could select it and come over here and uh, rotate, use it, and click around and do like that. And then move it over, blah, 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 all those steps, okay? <clears throat> or I could place the text 24 inch RCP. And now under the Express Tools, Modify text, rotate text, which is I select the object and now how do I want it aligned is what it's asking. I want to snap there, snap there, and now it's perfectly aligned and I can move it to where I want it to be. Just that quick and easy, got it rotated without having to do the RO command and choose the base point and rotation point and all of those things if you're wanting it to be exact. Pretty quick and easy, but can save you a few clicks and we all know that. Those few clicks add up if you're doing this a few hundred times in your drawing. Another thing that's often overlooked is if I had a layout and I want to rotate this viewport so that the this line is the orientation. I want this line here to be horizontal. What I'll do is in paper space, I will draw me a line that is horizontal. And now I will go to Express Tools, Align Space. When I choose that, it's going to ask the alignment point in model space. So I'm going to say this point, this point. Now, where do I want it in paper space? Point, this point. Give it a second. Now you can see by my crosshairs it is rotated. I'll reach in since these are points. And there and I, it is. Now rotate. I can move it around to orient it. I mean to uh, place it where I want horizontally. But now my orientation is correct. Pretty cool tool. The third one would be if I come over here. If you are not using um, the smart north arrows and everything from the layout views. You can use this. So I'm going to draw me a line that's straight north and south in my model space just so I'll have it. I'll come back over here and here's that line. If you were placing north arrows manually, for instance, so if I go to insert here, give it a second to generate, find me a north arrow somewhere in here, maybe. There's one. actually don't see one so we're going to cheat i'm going to place one something simple let's do this one so if you're using the smart tools like i am right here now and i place this <clears throat> it will automatically be rotated to the appropriate orientation now if i insert that north arrow will appear should appear in here there it is now I'll place it over here in space. Now it's straight up, up and down north. Well, we just rotated our view. What I'll do is I'll make this a little bigger. So we can see it. I'll move it over here to my model space. You can use a command called change space to move objects from paper space into your model space. So if I type ch space for change space, like the object I want to change space of, Spacebar, choose model view, and now it is in there. If I come over here to my model, we'll see that that north arrow is there. And now you can copy that thing around and put it in your layouts if you had multiple layouts so that it would be oriented correctly. When you do that, it physically changes it. It does not copy it. So that object is no longer in my paper space. So there's your three quick tools. 
for this week's tips using express tools in the change space. If you found this content useful, please click the like button. That way I'll know and I can generate more like of the same in the future. Leave comments if you have any suggestions. Please subscribe if you want to see some of my other videos and click that notification button if you want to get informed when I post more videos.